Jesus freak here. And yet, <laughs> deliberately wearing the same shirt as a fellow YouTuber who just released a video today. <laughs> anyway, sometimes I, uh, you know, me being <laughs> chocoholic and sodaholic type, but I like to, you know, I like to uh, go shopping for a few things now and then, but even though I probably could have gotten myself some stuff at the supermarket today, or if I felt like going to 7-Eleven because they're open 24 hours. Now, I've been known to sometimes hit a store on a Sunday if I really had to. I feel awkward about doing it. Because I know, you know, I really shouldn't be transacting business on a Sunday. Now, there were days when only certain stores were open on Sundays because of laws. And these exist to varying degrees in some places still. I mean, there's, there's a county in New Jersey where just about anything other than, you know, emergency stuff has to be closed on Sundays. And they had the opportunity to say, you know, we don't want this anymore. And they said, no, we want this. And it stood up to First Amendment challenges. And you, if you go to Canada, you know, it's pretty much by law. Every place has to have shorter hours on Sunday. They're not allowed to be open the same hours as they are every other day. It's illegal. It used to be here in New York State, you, you could go to a store and on Sunday, if it was before noon, they wouldn't sell you beer. And there used to be, you know, a lot more restrictions on what you could do on Sunday. And, you know, some people say First Amendment, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, it, there only means, you know, if a store wants to observe her of a day off every week, that's their prerogative. They can't be forced to it. Would I be fine if, you know, there were some kind of voluntary pseudo blue law kind of thing in effect and you know stores just opted not to open on Sunday it'd be fine there's hardly ever anything I really need unless you know unless I'm really sick and gotta buy medicine that would require me to go to a store on a Sunday Of course, you know, these same companies, you know, they all they all want a bigger piece in the pie. You know, they all want the almighty dollar. That's that's why uh, drug stores in America started sprouting grocery sections because gr drug stores were exempted from laws against transacting business on Sunday. So they started offering groceries because they were the only place that could do that on Sunday. But again, you know, if the only reason a company is going to do anything is because they think they can make money doing it. If 
people in a town decided collectively, you know, they, did, they didn't want to do business with anyone on a Sunday. And it was no longer profitable for a business to open on Sunday. They wouldn't open on Sunday. And this way, instead of, you know, saying, I want to, oh, you can get the same thing done without one. In fact, honestly, I think we spread our message better when we don't need to rely on the government to enforce our morality. You know, we should just try to enforce our own morality. I'd be absolutely fine if nowhere but drugstores were open on Sunday and, you know, they only sold you know, only the, the pharmacy section was open. I'd be fine with that. I don't think a grocery store needs to be open on a Sunday. And I don't think an honest believer who had an option of doing it. I mean, yeah, th there's people who might not have an option except to go to a grocery store on a Sunday. That's... But I wish it didn't have to be that way. If we were able to have it so that a sort of informal blue law kind of dealio were, you know, through arrangement that we just didn't run businesses on Sundays, be on board with that. Jesus freak out. 